Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my sample Sunday video or hashtag 365 days of samples. I was able to finish a couple of samples and I have some okay progress on the other one. So let's just get into it. First thing is the Ursa Major 4-in-1 Essential Face Wipes. And there were, I think, five in here. So they were individually wrapped. And sorry if I'm talking quietly. It's early in the morning. Jackson's sleeping and I do have visitors. So I am trying to be a little bit more quiet than normal. But hopefully I can adjust the volume. But they came individually wrapped. So I have like all of them in the box. I really like them. They did a really good job at taking off makeup. I really liked using them too after I went to the gym. I would use it to kind of cleanse off my face a little bit. My hair was going crazy. Um, so I really liked them after the gym to cleanse my face instead of like doing a full face wash before like I had to go take care of Jackson or anything like that. So if you want a pick me up kind of before you go to work, before you apply your makeup, if you go to the gym in the morning or afternoon and just want quick, a quick cleanse off, I would definitely use these. I will say though that they are kind of more highly fragranced. They do have a high smell or fragrance to them when you apply them to your face. It doesn't last on the skin, but it is definitely more potent than a couple of my other face wash, face wipes that I've tried before. But I did really like them. I don't know how much they are. They are made in the USA from Vermont, cruelty free, I believe. Vegan as well, 100% naturally derived, 53% organic. I'll leave them down below if you guys are interested, but I did like them. Then I used From Youth to the People, this is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Wash, face wash, and I really liked this. I only really could get like one or two uses out of this packet, so I don't think I'm going to go out and purchase the full size of it, but I will say I did use it and I did like what I used, but I don't think it's a favorite of mine, but it, it was nice. That's all I can say from the small sample. Okay, moving on to the items I am still working on. I'm still working on the Urban Decay Minor Sin Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is a champagne kind of color. I have it on as my eyeshadow base today. I topped it with my Hourglass Lighting Palette Trio Incandescent Light and then put Radiant Light on the crease. I really like doing it that way with this. It kind of amps up the shade for my lid. I used and had a full size of Sin Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's a little bit more champagne. So if you're looking for like legit champagne, I would stick with the Sin. But for me, a minor Sin is kind of like the in-between of a nude and like a fine cream base and a champagne color so I would not purchase this for me if I want a champagne I'll just get this in or if I want a regular one I'll just get the regular primer potion so this one's kind of a interesting one then I really didn't reach for this much this is the YSL black opium I really love this fragrance but it's more of a fall fragrance for me and I really haven't been using spray fragrances around my son right now I do love this scent though so will continue to use it. I reached for the Living Proof No Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream. I used this in my hair when I was just kind of letting it air dry. I really liked the stuff. I only used a small amount though, just about one time use, so I'll continue to use this and let you guys know. Still working on the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist, and you can't really tell. But I was here, now I'm down to there, so I have a little bit left, should be able to use it. I wouldn't say this really sets my makeup. Uh, the Urban Decay All Nighter sets my makeup better than this, but I will finish this off this week. And then I have the Ole Henriksen Invigorating Night Transformation Gel, and almost done with this. Been using this every night. Really, really like this stuff. I do prefer the Sheer Transformation Cream over this, but this is really nice if you want more of a gel texture. This is good. And then the three items I really didn't use at all, didn't use the Marc Anthony Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco 3 Day Smooth Perfect Blowout Smoothing Cream. I just didn't blow dry my hair so I didn't feel the need to use the product. Ole Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. I think I used it probably once or twice but it wasn't enough to like show a line so that's why I'm putting it 
and I didn't use it this week, but I do like this stuff. I just didn't reach for it. And then the Ear EIR NYC Jehovah and Aloe Sunset Oil. I didn't reach for this as well. I have eight items that I'm still working on, so let's pick two new items from the same bag. Okay. So I'll dig to the bottom. One, two. First item here is from Ole Henriksen. This is the Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. So it looks like that. There is how much in here? This is the facial oil, warm pumps. I don't know what this. Oh, pure rose hip fruit oil. There's 0.25 fluid ounces in here. I'll read up on this. Let you guys know my thoughts on it. And then this last thing is from Origins. This is the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. So uh, those are the samples I used up, the samples I'm working on, and the samples that I'm adding to work on for this next week. Let me know if you've used any of these items up, and I'll talk to you in my next one.